Hello everybody, welcome to another video. We start this one off with the clickbait thumbnail right at the start. So we've got this van in front of us. We've got, I'm not gonna call them roadworks, they're temporary lights because there's no roadworks being done. Now I thought long and hard about this and I think it is quite controversial this clip. Now we're looking at the van in front of us that is actually doing a good deed. Now I don't know if you noticed his little run there with a bald head. I was so tempted to play some music with that. It can only be one bit of music. Oh, I've got to do it. I can't help myself. Now those of you that's old enough to remember, that was from Benny Hill and he had a bald headed guy that used to keep slapping on the head. Okay, we'll get down to the proper story here, shall we? Um, what that guy was doing, he was knocking on the window of the police car that's in front of him and saying to them, these temporary lights are stuck on red. It's happened a couple of times uh, since they've been here and it's happened again. And he's obviously clocked it and realized that they are stuck on red. So all these people coming towards us now are going for a red light. What can you do? If you wait there for ages and ages and ages and nothing changes, you're going to go through a red light eventually. And that is what we do. The van, uh, me and the police car and a few cars behind me go through the red light as well. So that's where the clickbait comes in. Obviously, that car there is going through a red light and now the van is going through the red light. Um, I'm just going to wait here for a few seconds. Now, you can see the policeman, he's out there, he's getting details from these traffic lights, the little sign up there, who's involved in it, who's responsible for it, and he gets back in his car, and they drive off through the red light. I ain't got a problem with them going through the red light because it's stuck on red. Um, they do wait for another vehicle to come through. That lorry on the right-hand side is in a terrible position for these to be stuck on red because you can't see either way coming to it so you don't know what's coming around the corner um but my problem here the police should be staying there shouldn't they and doing a bit of traffic control here instead of just leaving the problem they've just driven away from the problem policing is to do with traffic as well isn't it you can't drive around like bogey and Boyle trying to solve proper crimes all the time it is doing traffic as well uh, but they just ignore it as we go to the rear camera now, you'll see quite a few people have been watching what's been going on and they're also going through the red light, but the ones further back haven't seen that. So they're stuck on red. You can see the red light going the other way is still red and nothing's happening. I can't believe that the police actually saw a problem there and drove away from it. Now in this clip, we are coming up to the Mad Mile again. And we're looking at the car in front of us that goes straight into the outside lane and literally just stays there, not overtaking anything. Now, if you have passed your driving test, which this person <laughs> you would assume has, because there's only one person in there and there's no L plates on this car, you would think that they know that this is wrong. They should know it's wrong. They've passed their driving test and surely someone a driving instructor or reading the highway code would have told them that this is wrong. You don't stay in that lane if you're not overtaking anything, not unless you're trying to avoid something in the inside lane or a junction coming up or something like that. There isn't, there is no reason for him to be there. The other thing he could be out there for is the fact that he might be turning right further down the road. He isn't. So the question is, why does this keep happening? Is it the fact that he hasn't got a driving license and he doesn't have a clue of what he's doing? Or is it the fact that he is a complete idiot and has forgotten everything that he's been taught to pass his driving test? Are you turning right? You're not even turning right, are you? No idea. No idea, have you? No idea what you're doing wrong. Now, the other one, the, the most obvious one for me is, is he foreign? Where that lane, if he's used to driving on the right-hand side of the road, would be his inside lane. 
Um, have a look at the Audi now that doesn't take uh, any prisoners. He's not waiting around for him because he's still not moving over and the Audi's just going to undertake him. Can't blame him, really. Um, I'm still going to say it, though. Always an Audi. So what do you think the reason is for someone getting it so wrong on something so basic like this? Now, I know that the haters will be out on this video because of my previous videos where I show you me being out in the middle lane and even in the outside lane approaching the M25 because of different reasons. I've showed you that, I've explained it, but I still get it in the comments section down below that your middle lane hogging and all that sort of stuff, even though that the middle lane is going to be blocked uh, because of people you know, using the wrong lanes. Uh, but it doesn't seem to stop my haters from not realizing it or understanding what is happening there. So obviously you can see that I've actually moved out uh, and I'm doing what you're supposed to do. You move out to overtake. I'm also turning right as well. So I've moved out for a reason. That guy is still there. And you can see the van has pulled out in front of him. So the van's undertook him as well because you, you can only stay behind these people for so long before your frustration boils over. So as I said, I'm turning right up here. And so is the car in question. He hasn't overtaken an, a bean. Not a bean down this road, but he stayed in the outside lane the whole time. Uh, the one thing that I didn't say back there that could be a reason why he's in the outside lane it's another big obvious one really mobile phones yep he could be looking at his mobile phone uh obviously i don't see the mobile phone otherwise i would show you but look at where his head is he's looking to his right hand side there is nothing of any interest in that car to that right hand side no no dashboard no buttons no nothing there so he's obviously got a phone to that side of the car. So we've gone back to the front camera now and I'm gonna show you this car in front. It does some very unusual driving. And then after that, it's petrol head moment for you. We've got lots of vintage bikes coming towards us. Um, and I'm just gonna keep quiet and gonna play one of my songs. And what you will notice is that behind these bikes, there is trailers because these things break down every five minutes. So here we go. London streets, so oh how they gleam Flashing lights, a city's dream Phones in hands, Audis fly Jumping lights, the red we spy Burks in murks, so oh bold and brash Farts in fires, making splash Dashcam rolling, night and day From the mighty rise to the foolish fall Every turn and every bend Captured moments never end Phones are ringing in the rain 
Mercs with drivers all elite Fiat starting through the street Oh, the London dash can seize it all From the mighty rise to the foolish fall Every turn and every bend Captured moments never end So, as we come round this bend now, we're almost at the starting line to that race, whatever the hell it was that they were doing. Um, and as we come round the corner here, there's a bike that's broken down right on the bend here. It's getting help, but it's obviously broken down. That's why there's trailers on all these cars that are coming towards us and everything, because these things must break down all the time. They're so old. Uh, so, we're going to turn right here. And I'm going to show you where the starting lineup is to where that bike broke down there. So, as we come round the bend here to Epsom Racecourse, just over to the right hand side, you'll see a little road. That is the starting line. That road there is the starting line for them bikes. So, that bike made it round two corners before it broke down. I shouldn't laugh. I shouldn't laugh. Stop it, Tony. Stop it. Yeah, and obviously there's some more bikes around here, but they're a bit more modern, you know, the old Triumphs. Um, yeah, they were there all morning doing this, and all morning picking up the ones that are broken down. Uh, and the last one over here on the left-hand side just looks like a bicycle with a little motor on it. It's so small. Anyhow, that was it. That was your petrol head moment for the day. So did you know it's only 67 days until Christmas? Yes, 67 days. So how about a Christmas miracle? Oh, bloody humbug. Now, this clip here, you see the date there, the 6th of October. Look over to the left-hand side. The 6th of October. Are you serious? Really? Now, in this clip, we come to someone that's backing out of their driveway. Now, it's... It doesn't bother me that much. It's just the lack of acknowledgement that the fact that they've made me stop to let them do something that they shouldn't be doing. An acknowledgement whatsoever? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Flash of the hazards or whatever, doesn't matter. Hand out the window. Nothing. Now in this clip, we're looking in the distance a little bit in my lane and you will see a car turn left not this first one that does it the one beyond it now you can see that car that's just turned left that's fine it's the one past it that's just turning left now 
I count one, two, three, four, no left turn signs there. But unless there's five, we don't comply. Now, how can you spot someone that doesn't use their wing mirrors that often? When they're parked, that is. How can you spot them? Well, it's quite simple. They open their door and look out of the gap of their door instead of using their mirror. Like this idiot coming up. Hello! And he's already got his mirrors folded before he's got out of the car. Well done. Look out of your mirror. So in this clip, let's talk bad habits. I'm coming to a bend here that I cannot see round it, so I wouldn't cut the corner, would I? A normal person wouldn't cut the corner there, would they? I couldn't see round it, so you stay to the left-hand side. Same here, I can't see round the corner, so I'm going to get past these parked cars and go back over to the left. Uh, yeah, toy car though, can't see round the bend, but cuts the corner. They've got the smallest car in the world, and they still need to cut the corner. And I know it wasn't drastic, it was only a foot or so, but they don't need to do it. Stay on your side of the road. Anyway, we're talking about bad habits in this clip. Uh, we're going to come up to another car now that's got a couple of bad habits. One of them is disgusting. And guess what car it is? My favourite, the good old Audi. Now, look out of its window, the driver's side window. It just has a nice old flob. There it goes, yeah, spitting in the road. Lovely, eh? Now, what's its next bad habit? We all know, don't we? We, I, You don't need me to tell you, but I will tell you. Yeah, surprise, surprise, it's not going straight on. And it's not indicating. But I heard it from reliable sources that their indicator lever is under the carpet of the back seat passenger. So it's really hard for them to flick that switch when it's all the way back there. So it's a little reminder to all of us, actually, because on normal cars, it's there. That's where it is. It's so simple for normal cars. But for Audi drivers, it's not there. So we've got to be a little bit patient for them because they've got to get to the back seat and then pull that back there and then flick their switches under there. So let's all be patient with these Audi drivers. So in this clip, we're coming up to a roundabout and it is pretty well marked out. Other than the lane on the right hand side, it is all marked out very well. As you can see, there's a nice big left turn arrow there. Where's this car going then? It should be turning left, shouldn't it? Ugh, that would be too easy, wouldn't it? That would be too easy to think it's turning left from the left turn only lane, wouldn't it? Ugh. Now, petrol head moment for you now, this red one. Yep, always an Audi. That remains the only Audi I've ever driven, an Audi Quattro, or as we used to call them, Quantro, back then. A great looking car for back then. Well, I actually think it's a great looking car for nowadays. And as you can see, it had trade plates on the back. But when I did some checking, this came back. Um, I'm not too familiar with the law on everything like that. It's obviously not off the road and is it MOT exempt? So if you wouldn't mind letting us know in the comments section down below, is uh, that legal to be dr driven on trade plates? So now in this clip, I'm at Gatwick Airport, just about to leave it. Drive really slowly pulling out of an airport because people just keep walking out in front of you. Their, their mind's on their holidays. Um, anyhow, we're coming up to some giveaway lines and you'll see a bus just go over to the left-hand side. My giveaway lines are before he's, so he should be waiting for me. There was no way he was stopping. No way he was stopping at all. Now in this next clip, we're coming into a supermarket car park and for some reason, arrows on the road and everything else don't mean a thing. Them arrows sort of give it away where you should be going. How have you got there? Now in this clip, uh, my pet hate again, I'm sitting here waiting at temporary lights. Yep, 
It's not roadworks because there is nothing being done. There's no one there. There isn't even anything in the bit that's cornered off. Why are we waiting there? Four roads have got temporary lights on here because of uh, all I can see was a piece of earth. Yep, I'll show you it now. To the left hand side, a piece of earth. Just there. That seems to be new. Woohoo! The good old British workforce strikes again. Now in this clip, I'm just going to be turning right down this road and we come to one of them drivers again that's got no manners whatsoever. It's reversing out of its driveway yet again. What you shouldn't be doing. I've got to wait. The car coming towards us has got to wait. And it's taking its time and no acknowledgement whatsoever again. It's like you lot can wait. Maybe this self entitlement wax has to have a few more cars added to the list. Now, you know, when you drive down the road and you wonder what the hell is going on here, this is one of them. That guy there in the pickup truck, what is it doing? How did it get there? The thing is, I want to turn right down that road. I've got to give up my priority to this Merc that's coming out so that he can get out of my way. I've also stopped in the car yes. behind me going straight on. And I still don't know how he got there, why he got there. He wasn't doing a U-turn because he went straight on. He didn't go down that little side road there, neither to the left-hand side of the bus stop that you can see there. You can see yes. I'm waiting. I'm keeping this woman waiting behind me, and he carries on going down there. So I have no idea what the hell it was going on there. So a little bit further down that road, we're at the traffic lights again. Yep, uh, the temporary lights. Uh, still nothing going on. That earth, no one's tried to nick it. It's still there. Look, it's still there. No one's nicked it. And no one's working on it. Maybe they're going to wait until there's grass growing on it. Maybe it keeps getting driven on. And the grass can't grow. That's what it's all about. Now, in this clip, it's the usual, I'm afraid. We've got red light. We've got a cyclist coming towards us. There's two more cyclists behind him, though. I wonder if they're together. I wonder if they actually pull him up at the end of the day saying, you're a twat, mate. Or do cyclists not do that? Now, in this clip, there's a lot of things that they can do to slow you down on a road. They can put uh, speed bumps on them, like what's over the zebra crossing here to slow you down. They can put like little chicanes to slow you down. But these ones on this road are pathetic. They're stupid. They are bumps or lumps, I should say, coming out from both sides of the road. So it creates problems, because no one seems to know who has priority. No, that's us now. That oh, come on! You stupid fucking idiot! It was your turn. Now, if we had a lump sticking out from the road like that, on one side, we all know who's got priority, don't we? Hesitation, indecision. This is what these fucking stupid things in the road do. Yeah, so as you can hear, I'm not a great fan of these ones. I'm not a great fan of anything that makes you stop for no bloody reason. When these politicians keep going on about fumes and all that, this ain't helping, is it? But I was pleasantly surprised on this bit. Yep, that is really rare. When the first car goes through, normally all follow. But it didn't work with that car, so well done, that guy. Now, in this clip, I'm going into a petrol station. Yeah, I know, an electric car going into a petrol station. But there is charges in there, but I'm not going in there for that neither. I'm going in there for something to eat. But there is a left turning just before the petrol station. So you have to indicate very, very late to get into the petrol station. Otherwise, people think you're going to be turning left where this car in front of me is going. Now, we get to here, and now the only... The, the car that hasn't got any priority at all in this situation is the one that's fucking moved, the red one here. I've got priority over it. The car that's coming towards me has got priority over it, and yet he's the numpty that goes. But it's not him that we're looking at. It's this idiot here that we're looking at. I'm going to indicate late, as I say, and you'll hear my indicator go on. 
but he's not looking in the right direction as I indicate and almost pulls out in front of me. Jesus. Where are you going? Fucking idiot. And they look at you as if you're fucking doing something wrong. And they're pulling out on you. Fucking twats. Now I will show you this from the rear now. Jesus. Where are you going? Fucking idiot. I mean, look at him. He's looking at me as if I'm doing something wrong, indicating to turn left. That is something I'm doing wrong. Maybe with people like that, I have to approach it differently by not indicating at all. And they look at you as if you're fucking doing something wrong. And they're pulling out on you. Fucking twats. So now in this clip, we are looking at the Mercedes to our left hand side in the tank, the white one right next to us. Uh, just see how many things it can do wrong in the space of about half a mile. So we're at the traffic lights, there's three lanes, but the three lanes become two. It's a merge in turn. Lanes one and two merge. Lane three stays the same. The lane that I'm in stays the same. He's going the wrong way. As you can see, you can see the arrow there where he should be going and also no indication. So that's two things straight away. Yeah, we're doing we're doing well. We've only just started. So we're coming up to another roundabout here. And where's it going to go? It's going to change lanes again. No indication. That's three. Again, he's cut off the roundabout. There's two lanes there. He wants them both. So that's four things. We're doing well. We're doing well. So we're going to come round here. And this is no biggie, but he's driving in the bike lane. And you know what I say, if you can't drive a big car, don't fucking buy one. So, we'll speed it up here. Because we're not finished with him yet. Or it might be a her, I'm not sure. It might be, uh, I don't know, you've got to be careful nowadays. It might be identifying as a sponge for all I know. But we're up to number five, aren't we, already? Now the road opens up a little bit more and it's going to be turning right uh, again with no indication. But we've got to be patient. It could be that their lever is like the Audis under that bit of carpet at the back of the car. So it couldn't reach it. Maybe. Who knows? Now in this clip, we're coming up to a set of traffic lights. We have a cyclist to our right hand side. We've got a red light. He's already technically gone through the red light, but he's not waiting at the red light anyway. He's waiting until the coast is clear and he's just going to go through it. It doesn't matter what colour it is. No, he's just going. It's just as long as his coast is clear, the red light can actually do one. And if we keep looking down the road a bit more, there's another red light that it's just about to go through. There he goes. That was red as well. So he's doing well. So now in this clip, I'd just like to say thank you for everybody that's made it this far in the video and uh, watches all my stuff. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. It helps the channel out no end. It really does. Um, it gets the channel out and about and all of that and it makes gets me more viewers and it gets me more money let's be honest it gets me more money so i can take time off work to actually put these videos to together and with that in mind i would just like to say happy christmas to everyone even though it's the only the 6th of october um on this clip anyway yeah happy christmas everyone and thanks for watching I will catch you on the next one, which hopefully will be before Christmas. And yes, I do know it's Merry Christmas, not Happy Christmas, okay? But I'm different. 6th of October, for goodness sake, out with Santa Claus, really? Anyway, bar humbug and all the rest of it. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Bye for now.